Welcome to the Greenwood Airport. My name is Evan Amaya, and I am gonna be test flying a 182 RG this morning that just finished installing a G3X Touch um, along with some other equipment in the airplane. So I will show you that. Uh, we're gonna be uh, test flying, making sure the autopilot works properly, uh, calibrating the AOA that we installed, uh, and uh, just generally making sure the airplane is good for the customer to pick up on Monday. So this is a 1981 uh, 182 RG um, Skylane RG2 is what they called these. Uh, it's um, kind of a unique bird. Um, they ran a Lycoming IO550, um, excuse me, IO540 uh, engine, uh, retractable gear. Uh, and other than the retractable gear and the Lycoming engine, uh, it's pretty much the same as other um, late 70s, early 80s model um, 182s. So here I've got the owner's manual, I've got the new weight and balance here. Uh, it didn't really change weight very much at all on this installation. A lot of installations uh, we do end up um, changing a good bit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a Bonanza next and I, um, I'm planning on seeing about 80 pound weight reduction on it. Uh, so as you can see here, I, um, I had um, new panels made. Uh, I, we design our own panels in-house. Um, we have them laser cut at a, a company just across at the airport industrial park, um, which is pretty convenient. Um, and so you can see here, we've got a G5, 10.6 inch G3X, uh, previously installed 750XI, uh, GTR 225 COM2, GTX 345, GFC 500 autopilot. Uh, also installed a seven inch MFD for the G3X. This airplane had dual G5s in it um, over the yoke before. So they just kept both of them and put the other one on the co-pilot side. Uh, also added the smart glide button here, which is a uh, kind of nice. Um, and then they also had this mid-continent USB clock well, already in the airplane, so we retained it. And then I added a GSB uh, 15 USB, Garmin USB with a C and an A in it. Uh, also over here, um, re redesigned the uh, breaker panel. So I've got all of the avionics lined up and then down here, we've got all of the, the PFD. So these are all on main bus and this is avionics bus with the bus, the main avionics bus switch here. So um, we did that. Uh, so a pretty nice airplane, uh, really. I mean, um, look forward to flying it. Landing height system ready. Holding short of runway 27 in Greenwood. Um, and about to do my run up. So as you could see, we've got the uh, COM1, NAV1, transponder, COM2, all um, remote control through the G3X. Uh, my engine information's all on the MFD. And once I get uh, make sure everything's working, then I'll readjust this. Have not calibrated the fuel flow, so right now it's showing 11 gallons an hour. Um, at idle, and that's not right. So we'll need to uh, calibrate that. Um, but uh, fuel, fuel has been calibrated. Um, we're charging. We're got positive amps. Um, it's cold outside, so it, it's showing 30 degrees. It's about 35 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside right now. Uh, and then there's the backup to the backup G5. Greenwood traffic. Uh, Skylane 4856 Tango's departing runway 27 will remain. Uh, we're going to be climbing up to about 3,000 and remaining in the vicinity of the airport. Greenwood. Airspeed's alive. Positive rate.
It's a beautiful day. Smooth as glass up here. I think I'll make my final destination altitude 3,500. Give me a little bit more, a little more room from the ground. And let's engage the autopilot. I've got to uh, fly several V speeds. So if I go to the menu, set up AOA. I've got to calibrate stall warning, and I might have to turn off ESP to do this, possibly, because um, the airplanes. Keep slowing the nose. Going to slow the airplane down now to 50. I'm actually going to turn away from the sun a little bit so we can see it better. Going to calibrate the alert. So I got to get slowed down to 52 knots. There's the uh, factory stall horn going off now. So there's 52. All right, that one's calibrated. Now what we're going to do is stall warning AOA calibration. This procedure will calibrate the AOA threshold for stall. Um, top of the gauge. Ensure the aircraft is in smooth air, clear of traffic, and, and safe altitude for maneuvering. So we're at 3,400 now. Prepare to perform a power off stall. So I'm going to hit start, and then this is going to do it automatically. So I'm going to maintain control. I'm going to pull the power back. And there it goes. So now our calibration is done. We have the last one we have is approach. All right, so now that it's calibrated. We have the AOA. It is now calibrated. I have the autopilot disengaged because it kept going on. So right here is the best glide. And then as I pull back, you can see it changing. And then if I continue back, then the airplane will continue going until until it stalls. And there it goes. That was stall. So there's my test flight. Um, it was successful and uh, all the systems are working. I need to work on uh, fine tuning fuel flow. Um, all the other engine instruments seem to work fine. Uh, autopilot's working properly. Uh, so uh, I think it's ready to be picked up. Thanks for watching.